early morning fall. The mullet run is here. There's sharks and carbon busting mullet down the beach. They're headed this way. We got cut bait and lures. Let's see what we can catch. Look at how fat that mullet is. Perfect bait. He's chunky, he's healthy. A little bit of offshore fishing combined beach fishing. I bridle these baits. Your hookup ratio goes up way higher when you bridle. And I use two bands instead of one just because you're casting it really hard. That's how we do it right there, guys. That just leaves your hook really exposed, so when the tarpon grabs it, or the black tip, he gets hooked immediately. Just north of us. Keep that jack, bro. We're gonna use that's a nice one, dude. Oh. That's like an eight. Oh, that's like a in the water. It's like over there. It's just insane, oh, bro. My goodness. Hold that jack up, bro. Hold that. Jack up. Woo! It's going off right now. We're gonna keep this guy for shark bait and uh, get some more lines in the water. It's going off here, people. Oh, double up. It's going up there, dude. I don't want to cross you. First fish of the day at Jack Raval. I just saw a black tip cut through the school. I'm gonna chop him up right now and throw him out there. Perfect. The school mode just passed over there. Another school over there, there's a little bit of weed in the water. I got some weed on the shark bait. I took the mullet off and threw a chunk of jack out there because we saw some black tips in the, uh, in the school hitting the mullet. And I think I'm gonna recast this. I didn't get a good, really good cast. It was, I was kind of rushing it because I saw that black tip. And uh, we got some time. The next school is about 500 yards on the beach. So I'm gonna get a good cast in there, try to get above these weeds and see if we get a shark. Corey's crushing the jack game right now. He's got like half a dozen jacks. I'm gonna use this Shimano cold snapper jig and see if I can catch up to him. All right. Dude, I'm gonna catch up to you. You know that, all right? How many jacks have you caught? Seven. Seven? It's a ladyfish, bro. Keep it. Oh, I'm keeping him for sure. I'm pretty sure it's a ladyfish. Put it on my rod. Bluefish. We got our bluefish, second piece of the day. Yeah. Oh, oh. Dude. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Bro, we got a fish on. Here. Let me get it quick. Don't move, don't move. I don't want to get to the bar. Sorry. You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got the camera, bro. You almost got me, dude. I had a fish on it. It just flew out of its mouth. No, no, no. Bro. I was pumping it. It just came off. That could have been bad, bro. I know. I'm sorry, man. I'm jacked up here. I literally landed on a piece of seaweed. That's so annoying. Right there, bro. You got one. So annoying. Dude. So annoying. On my last two casts, I've caught seaweed back to back. And the reason is it's treble hook. So if you want to reduce the seaweed, take your treble hook off. Put on a single, single J like this one right here, and that's going to reduce 
me hitting weeds a lot. And for jacks and these kind of fish, when you're catching this many, a single hook, I actually prefer it because, you know, you can take them off real easy, let them go, and keep catching fish a lot quicker than, I mean, shovel hook just catches everywhere, guys. It's, it can be kind of annoying. There we go. Oh, got a bite. There we go. Fish on. I have a case of the blues, bro. These guys, you gotta be very careful. They can bite you, and you will bleed like a pig. That's a bluefish right there. Let him go. Is that a better one? I don't know. Let's see if we got bluefish. like that thing, man. Love it, bro. Bluefish or jack? Jack. Uh, look how easy it is to take that hook out. Jack the ball. Alright, let him go. Alright, let's see if we can get another one. I don't even know if the fish is still there. It's got so many. It was a big ladyfish. There's so much seaweed in the water. It's almost pointless to have this cut bait out there. I think I'm gonna give this thing a break. Focus on lures right now. And if it clears up. Come back to the cut bait. Right now, guaranteed fish. Ready? Guaranteed. 100%. Fish on. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I love when it's like this, guys. I mean, you can literally catch a fish every cast right now. There are literally millions of these things out there. There's bluefish, jacks, ladyfish, tarpon, sharks, snook. It's going off. This is the mullet run, guys. There's just way too much seaweed here. The bites slowed down a lot. The fish are gone. They're not busting anymore. And every cast, we're just getting bottles of seaweed like this. We're going to have to change locations right now. So we're going to go further south, try to get away from the seaweed, set up again, and see if we can catch more fish. At our first spot this morning, we got weeded out. It was literally impossible to fish. Every cast, just nothing but seaweed. So we're traveling north now, looking for more mullet. The problem is, the water is so dirty here, it's hard to tell. I mean, we got some bus out there. It looks like some little jacks. It's not a lot of seaweed here, though. It looks like it's already washed up on the beach. There's some out in the, in the water, though. There is a small school of mullet here, but it doesn't seem like it's worth our time pulling the gear out. I think we're gonna keep moving around here, looking for more schools. Oh, man. Mullet, mullet, where are you? We gotta find these mullet, dude. Just take a lunch break right now, get some lunch. Let's go to Boston Market. Let's get lunch, then let's go get my car and we'll head down the road. We'll, we'll no, stop dude, and get lunch We're somewhere. gonna get lunch at Boston Market, though. No, that's, that's way too slow. Dude, you walk up, take your food, and go eat. I don't want meatloaf or mashed potatoes or her I don't mac care, and cheese. bro. We're gonna <laughs> eat Boston Market. Dude, it's, it's like almost it. noon and it's 90 degrees outside. I know, Boston And Market. we're gonna eat meatloaf? Yeah, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> no. Can't believe I was outvoted on this one. Bro, this is the bomb. It's horrible. This is where I go to feel happy again. After this, bro, my confidence will go up 10%. Thanks, bro. You're all welcome. Can we get some, uh, some vegetables too, please? Some uh, broccoli and, uh, yeah. And then can I also get a bowl of soup? This is a good day now. I, the fishing sucks, but we're eating at Boston Market, so I'm like super happy now. You know what I'm Never once have I stopped at Boston Market in the middle of a fishing trip. Now, there's one thing that really irritates me at Boston Market. They're incredibly stingy when it comes to ketchup. They give you these little ketchup packages. Like the guy initially gave me three. I said, I want more. You need two more. Come on. Give me like 30 of them. I mean, look, I'm on, I still have a bunch of chicken and potatoes. I'm, I'm down to my last pack of ketchup. It's terrible. I see we check out the inlet, dude, where we at this morning. See if there's any fish there, and then uh, we'll go down south, get, find, try to find cleaner water and more fish. I mean, I really want to catch a black tip. That's what I want to do. That's why we got those jacks back there, and we well, want to catch a tarpon too. When the fishing's good at, uh, at the inlet, what, what there's going to be schools of mullet there, right? Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. We just want to find we want to find consistent 
food. We're checking out this inlet right now to see if there's mullet here. There's usually good signs of mullet in inlets. That's where they, that's where you usually find good fish. There's a lot of jacks, a lot of tarpon, sharks. A lot of things like to hang around the, uh, the inlet because of the water flow. So let's see if there's anything here. We're here at one of the inlets on the east coast of Florida looking for mullet, tarpon, I don't care, something. It doesn't look like there's a lot of life around here. Let's check the beach as well, see if there's something there. And if there's not, we're gonna keep going south. We're here in South Florida now. We're doing this entire journey looking for mullet during the mullet run. There's some mullet right there. You can see them right there fluttering. Corey's got the net. We're gonna get some fresh bait and then we're gonna hit the beach. <laughs> you got him. Get that, bro. Uh, all of them. We got our live bait. We're here at another spot. We're gonna put some live mullet out there, see if we get bit. We got some new Black Tip H products, our live bait rigs to come in small, medium, and large sizes. The small rigs are great for pilchards and small greenies. The medium ones are great for your snook baits like croakers, sand perch, larger pilchards and thread fins. And the large ones are great for your tarpon baits or larger snook like mullet, sand perch, croakers, and other large bait fish. These rigs are gonna be available on Amazon. Click the link in the description if you wanna check them out. Large bait, large hook. And I got my Stella. See what's out here. Ugh. Man, there's so much fish here. It's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty sorry here. No signs of life at all. No schools of mullet. No tarpon rolling. No barracudas. No snook. We're gonna go to the end of the inlet out here, the jetty, and try there. We're grinding it out right now. We're going from spot to spot to spot. I mean, I don't even know how many spots we've been to, like, like at least 10 now. And we've seen some fish rolling here. There are tarpon here. There's snook here. This is Corey's backyard. He loves this spot. We got some live mullet. Only a few of them are alive though. Most of them have died. Let's get a bait out there and try to catch a fish. Oh. That's the summary of the day right there, guys. Garbage fishing. Garbage, no. Great fishing, garbage conditions. And there's a million tarpon here rolling. Can't get a bite. It's an amazing day, bro. It was a rough one, man. It was the roughest. We, we grinded it. Roughest. We grinded it out. We went to what, 10 spots? Yeah. Yeah, we drove probably for about three hours. Horrible. Yep. Miserable. One of those days. In the words of Captain Austin from Virginia, miserable. Here's the problem. Where there were fish and bait, there seaweed. was seaweed and horrible conditions. Where there were good conditions, <laughs> there was no fish. There were no fish. And where there's fish, <laughs> not yeah. So, story of my life, guys. Dan, the camera right now, he's gonna whip the fly rod out. I wanna see if he can catch one. He is like the tarpon master. So, let's see if he can catch one. Right <laughs> no. now. Dan Decimal. Oh, wait, okay. Dan, Dan, you're All gonna day. do it. You're gonna do it, bro. Come on. No, I'm not. Get the Come fly on. rod. Get the fly rod. The, the Everglades hold my, King. Hold my rod. Hold my rod, bro. Hold my rod. Film this guy. Uh, no, you're, no, gonna, you're gonna catch I fish, bro. I'm not gonna fish. I promise. Are you backing down now? I wanna see you before I go. See, you told me you could hook every tarpon out there. Let's see it, bro. Come on. Here, Dan, I'll give you my spot, bro. Oh, this is definitely. Here we go. No, 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 no! <laughs> bro, did you catch a bird? It still counts. Yes! Get him, bro. You see him catch. <laughs> oh! Bro, come on, Dan. You can do this, bro. Very, very dangerous. Bro, you're gonna. Where are the tarpon at? Okay, He's the tarpon master. He is, this guy is the tarpon these legend. Guys put <laughs> these guys are talking all this <laughs> Yeah, he was being quiet as fence for the fence. No! He just picked it up. What's going on, Dan? Well, we tried to get one on the fly and uh, we failed. Uh, the tide's going out, so it's kind of hard to get the fly to them out there. But a lot more people showed up uh, here, so it's just been one of those kinda days, right? Yeah, we tried a lot. We grinded a lot. How many spots did we hit? Like ten? Yeah. It was a real tough one today. We went to ten different spots. Lots of bad conditions: seaweed, dirty water, no bait, 
We started off today catching a lot of jacks, a lot of bluefish. I was like, man, we're gonna crush today. We had huge schools of mullet coming by. Unfortunately, the seaweed killed us. So we went to nine other spots. It was just awful, guys. Grinding and grinding it out today. We ended out here, lots of tarpon. We saw dozens and dozens of tarpon rolling here, but unfortunately, they weren't biting. I think once this tide switches, they're gonna turn on, but unfortunately, we're out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Shimano, Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.